So I'm videotaping this just uh, to help me with the new ones that come. On this side, you've got uh, two switches, I mean three switches and one plug. And this side's really awful. It's um, um, soldered, like right here. Don't know where it was supposed to go, but basically the same as this one. This one's still soldered together. And on this one, you have three, I mean four switches, and you got one plug in. And the two uh, pickups are on this side. And then on this one, goes to the other pickups. It's interesting. So, looking at this. The two middle ones are together, which makes sense because look at the design, and then you have the outer ones. So that one right there. What weird? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, this one's unsoldered. Unsoldered from wherever it was supposed to go on this side. I got everything out of it, the uh, pickups and the knobs and everything, so I am ready to strip it, and I will show the after once I'm done. I got all the parts, and they are ordered, but it's going to take a little time to get here on some of them. Like the pickups, well, I'll explain that in another video, but the pickups are from uh, China. Originally, the pickups that were on there was like 1965, and they were from uh, Japan. So, some companies making a replica of the uh, pickups that were on there, exactly. I mean, they look exactly. So, that's what I ordered. I had to get four of them. So, I think I'm ready to strip. Okay. Wish me luck. I'm hoping I will get this thing looking really nice when I'm done. Now the polythene has all been removed. I use paper towels to clean it up. And uh, got the back and the front. And now I have to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to sand it. But I gotta wait till it fully dries first. But I think it looks pretty good. You notice there's no more shininess to it if the pole thing's all gone. Makes it much easier to uh, sand. Alright, that's it on that. It's now been sanded. As much, I'm not going to get it all the way down to the wood. That wasn't my plan anyway. But it is all done. The front is off. And uh, I will now stand it. And then put the polythene over the top of the stain. So, here we go. I hope it looks okay after I get done. I put a little bit on there just to see what it looks like. And, man, that looks good. See, I sanded out all the little scratches and stuff. Out of there all the little tiny dents and stuff um, I think it looks really good it's gonna look awesome I would say that that is a major improvement my dad would be very proud of me right now I know he would I love this thing as much as he did and I'm gonna get it done one way or another okay the whole back and sides are done. And I think it looks beautiful. I mean, this thing looks great. I can't believe it. I'm actually doing this myself. <laughs> I would have never guessed that. Not in a million years. Okay, the front is now finished on staining. Got it all. I wonder if it's supposed to be stained here. I mean, I don't know, I think that's from the smoke damage, this blackness you see. I don't know, I don't, I don't think I should stain that. I'm not exactly sure on that, but 
anyway the front is done and I think it looks great what do you think sides are all done next will be the polythane and I'm gonna be putting it on there pretty thick because I want this thing to look really nice it's oil based polythane okay that's it on this okay I got the first coating on there of the polythane and I think it looks beautiful I got the sides and everything I'm gonna do the other side too I'm actually gonna do the inside of the guitar too I stained it so I might as well polythane it but I think it looks good at least to me nice and shiny now it looks like it's gonna rain so I'm gonna have to take these inside the building and uh, put the fan on them and try to speed up the process of drying but yeah looks really good okay that's it on that